Namaste, everybody. This is Gratitude Grace with Gratitude Rx. And I know we're going through this crazy time of change. And our yoga is more essential than ever. And so a lot of people are, you know, doing, doing, doing. And today I was outside and I was chopping up some weeds with the weed whacker. And I came to realize that even in our lives, we can bring about two qualities in our lives that we utilize in yoga. The first word is sukha or ease, and the other is sthira, which also means steadiness. So I talk about this as ease and flow. So the whole idea is to not force things too much. The idea is to let whatever is, be whatever is, and just to flow with it in an intentional sort of way. So, for example, when I was in the backyard, um, at first I was trying to force the weed whacker to mow through these tall weeds, and it wasn't working. And I just kept trying and trying and trying, and it just didn't work. And then I said, okay, what if I just let the machine do the work and I just push as directed? And so I started doing that and, you know, it started working and the weeds started falling. So we can also apply this. We can apply this to our yoga. We can apply this to life, especially now. Even when things are rough, things are hard, things are being taken away, things are falling away. You know, for example, um, there are a lot of businesses that are closing and people are like, my business is closing, I need to do something about it, what do I do? And then they immediately rush into action without breathing first. So that's the sukha and sthira, this is the flow. Instead of freaking out and going into a panic, which puts you into your next motion. What if I could what if I could suggest taking a step back and assessing the situation and saying, okay, now what? And then you can make a an intelligent decision versus you know, forcing yourself to even do things that you don't want to do. Granted, I know that we're going to have to do some stuff. We don't always want to do everything, but our inner being is our best guide. And times are different now. Times are different than they were, even on a daily basis. So it's that ease and flow. It's key. So, I hope everybody is up, is safe out there. Um, oh, I'm going to make this a twofer. So, we're talking about ease and flow, right? And both ease and flow are energy flows. So, another thing is, you know, there's so much information online and on TV and probably in the newspapers and everywhere you look. But just remember, as your frequency rises, dis-ease cannot exist. Disease is spelled of two words, dis-ease, not ease. The absence of ease. Disappear means to do the reverse of what appear, of appear. So mm -hmm. dis-ease is the opposite of ease. 
So if we just rise that frequency, and we do it on a collective level, kind of like the children in Thailand doing the million person meditation, that rises frequency. So that is raising the frequency of the planet. This is the same sort of concept. We are raising the frequency of the planet and therefore sickness cannot preside where love and healing exists. Saying that people don't have compromised systems and stuff like that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that if we as a collective raise the energy from what we're seeing to things like empowerment, love, health, even saying to yourself, you know, I'm healthy and believing it. Personally, I rarely ever get sick. I believe myself to be a healthy being and I tell myself that and I thank myself for, you know, fighting off anything that could be in my system. It's also taking care of yourself. It's not running yourself down too much. It's, it's showing yourself love. And then, you know, you can show it to somebody else. And then it becomes a chain reaction. And then everybody's loving upon anybody, everybody. And what room do we have for dis-ease? The virus will be gone in a matter of days if we were to do that. <laughs> you know, love on this planet. Rise above this ease and then spread it to the people the people that are suffering or having a good, hard time spread love to them you know if you do reiki send out a reiki bubble into the universe if you do any sort of energy work if you do any sort of intuitive anything setting an intention is very important so you know we can rise above this and we can completely transform the planet. So just remember, effort versus ease. It doesn't have to be hard. You could just let it flow. Let it go, you know. Now is a good time to thrive with your talents and your passions. And if you don't know what your talents and passions are, now is the time to figure it out. Because we were all were put here with a purpose. Everybody was put here with a purpose and... I want people to figure that out. You know, I want people to be empowered into who they are, who they really are. What's your dream? What do you really want to do? Because when you're in those realms, it's so yummy, it's so tasty. You know, so, you know, I'm here. I'm here to lift up and empower. And if you want to do yoga, you know, if you need an energy boost, Get at me. You know, I'm here for you. And I want to see a smiling planet. So many blessings. Namaste. Sending everyone the best right now.